thank you for allowing us all to gather here to listen to what you have to say. We just pray that something is said, Lord, to encourage somebody today and cause them to seek you, the Lord, Lord, or just to even start to you if they have not done that today. And we just thank you for the opportunity once again. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So today, we're going to talk about activate your faith in God. Amen? Yes. So this is not a, a, a typical teaching. I would just say it's just something just to encourage. Amen? Because we do have a lot going on, you know, in the spirit and the, in the body. So we just want to bring some encouragement today. Amen? Amen. Do you ever find yourself in a situation or situations where it seems like everything and everybody is coming against you? And that is a question. Does anybody ever find yourself where it just feels like the whole world is against you? Your back is up against the wall. Do you ever find yourself in that situation? Yes. Amen. I used to. I used to. Amen. You cannot let people discourage you. Amen. Because then you're giving them the chance to Mm -hmm. step down to you. Amen. Like, don't let you, like, keep on doing what God is telling you to do. Mm-hmm. You know? Amen. Amen. Well, I found myself in those situations too. And I know that a lot of people can relate to that scenario more than others or maybe even about the same as others. Um, but in those instances where our faith, that that's where our faith should be activated the most in God. Amen. So the definition of activate is to make active or more active. Activate is a verb. So if we take it back to elementary school, we know verbs are action words. So the definition of a verb is a word used to describe an action, state, or occurrence. So to activate faith, that requires action. Amen? Amen. Amen. So every man is dealt a measure of faith. So you won't be able to have the same faith like mama, like daddy, grandma, or even your best, 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 yeah, man. Sorry, we just here to tell you that. Yeah. You will be able to have the faith that the Lord has given you, however, amen? Romans chapter 11, verse 3 says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. So we have to stop comparing our faith and our walk in Christ to other people's faith and their walk in Christ. Amen? Focus on your own walk and your own faith. The word act, A-C-T, act, inactivate, simply means to take action. Do something. When things are going right, Activate your faith in God. When your kids decide they want to act up and be knuckleheads, which they do in my case, activate your faith in God. When things seem overwhelming, activate your faith in God. Amen. When family members start showing off, activate that faith in God. When you're constantly looked over by others, no matter what you do, activate your faith in God. And to put it simple, do something. I don't like complaining. Yes. Yes. I will walk away. That's something. I will walk away <laughs> because I don't need to be contaminated yeah. with people at work, yeah. with family members acting up. Mm-hmm. I just walk away. Mm-hmm. Because why have to tolerate what they're saying or what they're doing? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. If I'm I'm part of the body of Christ. I have to be different. Yeah, that's right. So my action is walking away. Yeah, You're gonna you see me walking away. Yep. Yep. And I take on that same action, but you have to have faith to do that because a lot of people have faith in themselves, and in turn they start doing what they feel like they need to do, right? Uh-huh. So instead of me walking away, having my faith in God, and listening to what He wants me to do in this situation, I'm gonna bust at you. I'm gonna argue and fight with you. That's what I want to do. Now what God wants me to do. So there's no faith when you do that. Yeah. You just have to put your hands in it. Amen. Amen. So 
God don't tempt us, he will test us. Okay. Yeah. So that that's what happened. And then when Apostle said, you can't just get the faith and be like, okay, that's good. I got it. I'm just a dog. No. Like it has to be tested. It has to be tried. Amen. Can I say something else? Yeah. Go ahead. If you ever get to a point, we ever get to a point that we've gotten so confident in our faith, mm -hmm. okay, to the point that we fail to stay focused, then that, that's an opportunity for the enemy, yeah. okay? And what I mean by that now, it's, it's, a, it's a place to be confident in your faith, mm -hmm. but that confidence says that God is in charge. Right. How about him, you, Jesus? That, that, that confidence says that I know in whom I believe in. And, excuse me. Okay, amen. <laughs> So, how do you know your faith is activated? You know because you know God can do all things and, you, and He will never fail you. Your faith is activated. The trust in Him with everything, your faith has been activated. No matter what life goes at you, you still believe that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to His purpose. Your faith has been activated in God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, what else is this man? I was done, man. You sure? Yeah. You sure? I felt like he had something to go with. I probably did, but it's going to be. I'll wait. I'll go ahead. Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Activating your faith in God is not a one time thing. No, it's not. Not something that you just do when you feel like you need to pull out a superpower. Amen. But that, that, oh, excuse me, but that, that's where you confident in your faith, right. but you don't realize that faith don't get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Faith is never get in a comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Faith is always ongoing, just like the Father. Mm -hmm. It's always moving. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you we have to, once we get faith in the confidence in faith, and faith in us, and it's activated, we've got to follow with faith. Mm -hmm. Faith don't follow us, we follow faith. Right. So, like I said, it's not a one-time thing. We, we need to activate our faith daily, God. Amen. Especially in this world that we live in. And we need to just stay in our faith bubble. <laughs> we don't need to leave the faith bubble. So, the page, the page, the same page. So, in closing, I want to tell, share my, my situation that happened this week. Amen. So, um, normally I get the uh, child support check twice a month, right? And it's on a bi-weekly schedule. It always comes on a Tuesday unless it's a holiday, and then it will deposit the following Tuesday. Well, this past Tuesday, it did not come. So I woke up Tuesday morning, and the only...
but faith, my faith was already activated, amen. So I went about my day as normal. I did. I didn't really have no no real issue, amen. I even called the DSS office to see what happened, and of course, the only answer she could give me was, did you contact your child's father? Do you know where he works? And I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, of course, I just thanked her because she really wasn't no help. But I thanked her, and I sent a text to um, my child's father just to let him know that, hey, your employer didn't pay child support, you know, hands up, and there was no deposit. And all he said to me was, okay, he'll check in for me. Fine, okay. So all I said was, okay. I didn't get mad. I didn't get irate with him. I did it. I know you don't think so, but I didn't. But I allowed that to settle. Like, I, I really did. So I responded with, okay, and I moved on from the issue. Now, in the meantime, the Lord brought up a solution, and I was on the phone with the call for when this happened to basically just use the money that I was going to use to set aside for some of the rent. So what I do is I get two actual paychecks and I'll split my rent in half. So I'll take some money from one and from the other. So from the first check, I take some money. I, the Lord just was like, well, just use it for nothing. Use it for whatever you need to grab. And I'm like, okay. So I can see the bigger picture at this point, right? I can just make up that rent shortage when I get that second paycheck this month because I I don't really pay as many bills with the second check in that makes sense. So the grocery store trip was back on. We went shopping, we did what we did in there. But I did have to activate my faith because I knew God would handle this situation and I trusted him to do what only he could do. So even though I still don't have the money, I was still able to do what I needed to do in there. And faith didn't allow any of those, well, what if I would have just did this? Or maybe I could have just did this. And even the discouragement that tried to arise, that didn't even manifest because I was already like, okay, well, I've already got a solution. God gave me a solution, whatever. Like, whatever happens, just happens. It'll get figured out. So faith produced peace for me so I could make the moves that I needed to make, even without that money that I was looking for. It brings me joy, which allowed me to remain in a good attitude in spite of the situation. Because who don't, who want to wake up and not get their money, right? And that would kind of upset some people more than others, but I was just like, okay, here we go again. Because this is not the first time this has happened, but this is the first time that I'm going to be blessed and money like that. Because the first couple of times I wasn't in this situation. So, there will be there. And I recommend like so through my testimony, amen, you can truly see that faith is a prerequisite for all things, just as I said earlier in the lesson. So today, if you haven't or if you don't even know how, you need to seek the Father to activate your faith in Him and allow Him just to take control of all your situations because it will. It'll push out doubt. It'll push out fear, like the apostle said. It'll push out, you know, just discouragement, anything else that you may think of and use faith as your foundation, amen? amen? And I still don't have money, so, you know, but he did let me know that it was an issue with the pay schedule, I guess they switched up on them, and so I'll be getting it on another week. They, I guess they do this in the fall, I don't know. Um, but God is still good, everything is still taken care of, amen? amen? So, that's my testimony. What do you have to say, Apostle? Amen. <laughs>
wasn't to deem this person, that person, or nobody, but it's to try and be obeyed. Yeah. yeah, see, that's why I said whenever we're in circumstances and situations, we got to see what God is working out of us. Right. Not the fact that, oh, I was looking for this, I'm do this, and mm -hmm. I always be waiting on it, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. But God, what am I supposed to learn? Because see, when we take out our focus and put it on the Lord and not the situation, then God can move. Mm -hmm. And God yeah. will move. Yeah. yeah. He provides. And he gives you double for your troubles. Amen. You like double for trouble. Amen. Yeah. He'll give you double for your troubles. <laughs> Amen. But well, yes, you are correct. Well, faith, it doesn't allow you to focus on the situation. It allows you to focus on the job and, you know, what he's going to do in the situation. With faith, I don't have to worry about when it's, okay, when is it coming? I know it's going to come in. But that's what I was doing before the situation. Amen. So this situation. Amen. 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 No, I was just clearing myself. Amen. Amen. Yeah, because I'm a big uh, planner, budgeter type person. Yeah. Like, I like to know what my money is being spent down and what, what bill is coming out for what on what date. So, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the Lord using something for me to basically to stop focusing on stuff like that, and stop counting on stuff like that. That's when she's telling me you can see her that she is ready to break down mm -hmm. and the Lord is like on me and I'm like shaking and I was like let me grab the oil mm -hmm. put a little bit of oil and you know as soon as I did this I shook mm -hmm. I put my hands on her and that girl broke down mm -hmm. I was like whatever you have attached on you mm -hmm. I'm not gonna allow it to be here because our house, my house, has been sealed with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the thing is that if I continue to allow it, mm -hmm. because I can keep on praying for my house. Mm -hmm. And I can pray, pray for everybody in my house. Mm -hmm. But if they don't fix themselves or repent, nothing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And it's going to continue. But the thing is that this thing, let me see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I saw it, it went to her room. And I start praying and praying and blessing and this and that. Mm -hmm. But if people in my household mm -hmm. don't start doing what I'm doing, it's never going to leave the house. Mm -hmm. No matter what I do. So, exactly. Oh, yes, throw yourself in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, thing about, one thing about spirits, demonic spirits, evil spirits, when, you, when the presence of the Lord that is in you is there, they have to stay humble. They have to stay in a position that they know that they can't strike, they can't attack, they can't do anything because of the Lord. Because remember now, the Bible teaches us that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So greater is he that is in you than he that is in your home, okay? And, and, and your people, 
your, your, your family will have to learn as they go through the process. Let them go on through their process. Mm -hmm. But you can always declare the victory because you are there. Yeah. Okay? And you have to understand that when you're not there, you can also still have the covering of the Lord. But the Lord is going to allow certain things to take place mm -hmm. when you're not there. Mm -hmm. Because they need to get in a certain place in Christ. They need to acknowledge the Lord God mm -hmm. in their ways and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because in other words, right now, you're like their protectors. Yeah. You're like their shield. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, they've got to have their own faith. Yeah. They can't utilize your faith. Yeah. You know, so that's in your writing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. 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 That's, that's why I was saying that faith comes from that connection with the Lord. Yeah. Because if you not connected yeah. with him, then you're going to see all kinds of stuff. Yeah. 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 And that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's not supposed to be any different because the thing is, again, we want our family to be in Christ. But the thing is, the same thing it took for me, my family is going to have to go through all yeah. something. Mm -hmm. I can pray till I'm black and blue in the face. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if their faith is not connecting with the Lord God, mm -hmm. And their faith is only trying to connect with me and the Lord God that's in me. It's not going to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they yeah. leave themselves open mm -hmm. for the enemy to still come in at will. Because like I said, they want to do what they want to do. Not just yours, mine too. Okay, and their other family. They want to do what they want to do like Job's family. Mm -hmm. His yeah. children parted hard mm -hmm. because they knew he had a relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they knew he was always praying. Yeah. But they didn't anticipate that the enemy was going to come in and wipe them out like he, like he did. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, though, he couldn't touch Job. Yeah. So therefore, the same with you. The, if that enemy, that demon, that demonic spirit cannot touch you, mm -hmm. okay, because of where you are in Christ. And like I said, and all that they see, then they need to learn. She needs to learn. You need to learn how to pray. You need to learn how to cover yourself in your children when you see these things. Don't rely on me because of the fact that I may not be in a place to do that or the Lord may not lead me to do that. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes the Lord will put a break on us too and, and say, I got this, you let me handle this yeah. my way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So therefore, and it, and it makes it look like, oh, well, mommy don't care or sister don't care no more, but uh-uh, no. When the Lord don't want you to do nothing, he's going to put a block he's there for you where you can't do anything because they have to come into the knowledge of knowing that Jesus is Lord and not them and their lifestyle and what they want to do. Jesus is Lord. Yeah. And that's why I said earlier that to, uh, to activate faith requires action. We have to have some sort of action. We can't use you, you all the time. Yeah. It's time, you know, but all the time they have to activate their own faith, every man is dealt a measure of faith is what I said. Yeah. And then I read um, Romans chapter 11 and 3 to reference that. So they have to use the faith that they're dealt. And it's always easy to use mom's faith or who the pastor's faith or whoever, but you have to have your measure and your measure on you and, then, and go from there. So that's great how that and I believe that was strike one. Strike two was a dream. Mm -hmm. I was like, and strike three, you out. Mm -hmm. That's what I told her. Mm -hmm. Because I always like to reference when if you don't hit it, you strike one. Yeah. Strike two was a dream. Yeah. Dream was a warning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when she went through um, court situation, mm -hmm. the Lord gave me a dream. We were standing in front of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. And when I spoke to the pastor, he was like, judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. I told her, be ready. I was ready, yeah. and she went through the whole process. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to go through all that, going to jail and stuff like that. Right. So it's like I told her the second time now with the dream, I was like, put yourself first as a mom, as a woman in God, yeah. with your kids. Yeah. Don't try, don't please God, don't please no men. Mm -hmm. Because right. then the Lord is going to allow me to take away your kids. Because that was the dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the thing is, it's so weird because she was super drunk in the dream when she was a dream. Yeah. Like, 
like everything has fallen up. And I told her last night because I had forgot about it, and we were cooking, and something came up, yeah. and then the Lord said, "Just say it to her." Yeah. And I, how the dream was, I landed the whole thing out. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, I have to say the dream mm -hmm. because it will consume me, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. especially as a parent. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. so much as um, a message from the Lord, but as a parent. Because before I gave message to my cousin about cancer, about my stepbrother in Puerto Rico, and some other things that, you know, I don't have relationship with these people like that. Yeah. I mean, you believe it if you want, but I just deliver it. Yeah. And then the, she confirmed that she had a dream she does not remember, but she's seen one of the boys put out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, just, just, you know. Fix yourself with the Lord. Yes. Repent of whatever. Yes. You know? Yes. And she was like, she she got like kind of sad. I was like, no. See, I, I cannot get sad. Mm -hmm. I have to Just take action. You better. You got to do something. Yeah. Like you yeah. yeah. That, that needs to do something. Yeah. Because the enemy will love it if he does not do anything. Yeah. He will love that. But we can't do that.
and have the faith to live upon that. They're not controlling it. They're, they are enslaved in it and they're submitting right. to it, yeah. the will of the enemy still mm -hmm. because he owns the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. But that's their faith. And that's why it's so easy to say, I got faith, I got faith. It's like this turn, same, 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 same. You know, it's just easy to say until it's time for action to be done. Yeah. Or if it's time for it to be tested and tried, and it's like, hey, wait a minute now, like, I don't know about that. But you knew when you were in the flesh, and you knew when you could control everything, and now you don't know because, you know, something that's happening, and now you're the real faith here. Mm -hmm. So that's salvation. This is the message here. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was doing when he designed salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he knew that each one of us had to experience a different type of wilderness experience mm -hmm. because of our will. Mm -hmm. Because of our giving up and how much we're willing to give up. How much we want to give up. You know, how much we want to sneak in and hold mm -hmm. on to, you know, well, this is crisis. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. Yeah. And, and, and nobody will know I got it. Yeah, but the, but the <laughs> test and the trials and the tribulations of life can reveal everything you hold right. on to. Yeah. yeah, it reveals everything you think that you you say you've gotten rid of, but deep down you really haven't. I love salvation because salvation is a big old spotlight. Bang! Yeah, it, it <laughs> lights you up inside and out, and it makes sure that the world see you, the flesh and the devil can see you. Amen. I love it. Thank you. 